Oh yeah, that's that's in there. Twelve inches of fresh cow. Conditions are perfect. We're gonna carve up this lake. There you go. Ta-da! Welcome back to Ben Stone Fishing. I am not in Minnesota right now. I'm in Canada. More specifically. Northern Manitoba, embarking on the first ice trip. Normally I'd say this is the earliest I've ice fished, but normally we would have ice. It's kind of been a late start to the year, but we have ice alas. I'm joined by a variety of people. We have Mr. Mark Tully, Nathan Speltz, and up in the front there is Andrew Walker from Cast and Conquer. I'm pretty excited to be up here. We're gonna get a little bit of fishing and we've been driving for like, what, seven hours? Yeah, seven hours and we missed the turn. Yeah, <laughs> missed the turn. Uh, our final destination was Wacusco Falls Lodge. I've always wanted to go up there, but we're making a pit stop to get some fishing in tonight. Next three days, we'll be fishing uh, a little tournament for frostbite fishing, but for now, it's just to get out on the ice for the first time and hopefully catch some big rainbows. That's, that's the goal. Fish. Oh, yeah. It's a tiger. A tiger. <laughs> first ice fishing fish of the year for me, and it's my first ever tiger trout. I didn't even need my hummingbird for that one. I just caught that one blind. It's a 13 and a quarter incher on the mini dinner bell. That is awesome. We've been fishing for probably, I don't know, five minutes. I've been trying to get my hummingbird working. My hands are frozen already, but that's a good problem to have. I was so confused, I thought I ran into my pole. Obviously with this being our travel day, our time is a little limited out here, uh, but I briefly just want to touch on location. Just Our location pretty much right now is relying on accessibility and safety. So we're pretty much right in front of a launch and we're on three inches of good ice, which is, you know, we're all comfortable fishing on that. But aside from that, a boat launch is a good location just for the gravel. A lot of times these fish are cruising transition lines, whether it's, you know, weed to rock or sand to rock or whatever it is. And, you know, in our short span of time of being here, we've seen a handful of fish that have just kind of ran straight through. And uh, essentially you're just kind of putting your lines down there, hoping that you uh, kind of catch those fish as they pass by. So you get a, little, a lot of dead time in my experience of trout fishing, but when it's on, it's on. Second tiger trout. Little guy. Little guy. They're so pretty. It's, guy. it's like crazy how gorgeous those fish are. My first ever. We'll put it back down Ben's hole. Sweet. Wow, we talked about it too. Like, oh, there's tigers, browns, brookies. Mm. We're all like, oh, none of us have tigers except for Mark. Ben gets one in the first like five minutes. Didn't even have the live scope going. Yeah. I was on my fourth restart. <laughs> Bonus. <laughs> oh, here's a fish. Just had a big one come through. Yeah. Really close to bottom, like pretty much riding bottom. I thought for a second he was gonna do it. He came like right up to it and just left. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, record. Another fish just came in. Where'd you go? 
two fish have been caught. A few fish have been marked. I just saw, I think two separate fish. They looked big. I didn't see that first fish on live, so I don't really know like a size judgment. We are fishing pretty shallow, so everything kind of is magnified on live, but those two fish came in pretty hot and uh, very close to bottom. And that first one looked big. And then I went to stop the GoPro, a second fish came in. Didn't really interact with the bait, but uh, Andrew and Mark are fishing very close by and they've marked a few fish, so they're definitely moving. We don't have a whole lot of time to spend out here. So it felt good to just come out here and catch a fish right away. If I can make things better and catch another fish, then that's kind of what I want to do. <laughs> All right, we fished for like 45 minutes. Caught two fish total, right? Yep. I caught the biggest 13 inch tiger trout. Knocked tiger trout off my list, finally. First Manitoba trout, first ice fishing fish of the year. A lot of firsts. Pretty sweet, but we got like another couple hours of our drive and we got bigger fish to catch the rest of the week. So we're gonna wrap it up here. Probably a short video, but I don't care. We're on ice, I'm happy. My feet are cold, my hands are cold, everything's cold. But it was a good time.